Not only is it getting closer, but it's also becoming increasingly ambitious. I'm talking about our future home in space, of course, currently under development by Sierra Space. Yes, the Life Inflatable Space Station system is advancing rapidly, aiming to be ready for deployments before the ISS retires. So, how is this groundbreaking system progressing? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The clock is ticking for the International Space Station with its retirement on the horizon. This impending transition has set the stage for private space stations to rise as successors, bringing innovative designs and solutions to the forefront. One standout contender is Sierra Space's Inflatable Life or Large Integrated Flexible Environment Module, a project garnering considerable anticipation due to its ambitious vision and promising progress. Recently, Sierra Space made notable advancements with its system, including progress on its innovative trash compaction and processing system, or TCPS for short. On November 25th, the company announced in 2026 our trash compaction and processing system will be tested aboard the International Space Station. This technology will be critical for future space exploration, handling waste management, stowage, and water reclamation for long-duration missions. This announcement highlights the pivotal role TCPS will play in advancing long-term space exploration. Sierra Space elaborated that the system would significantly reduce the volume of waste generated by astronauts while reclaiming nearly all water trapped within the trash for reuse. Such innovations are essential for future missions, particularly those venturing into deep space, where resource efficiency is paramount. Sierra Space CEO Tom Weiss emphasized the importance of waste management in spacecraft design. Long-term space travel requires the efficient use of every ounce of material and every piece of equipment. Every decision made on a spacecraft can have far-reaching consequences, and waste management becomes a matter of survival and mission integrity in the vacuum of space. We're addressing this challenge through technological innovation and commitment to sustainability in every facet of space operations. Central to the TCPS is the Catalytic Oxidizer, a cutting-edge solution for processing volatile organic compounds, or VOCs for short, and other gaseous byproducts. This innovation maintains a safe and sterile environment within space habitat and offers a more energy-efficient and safer alternative to traditional VOC removal methods. Additionally, the system compresses crew waste into compact square tiles for easy storage, while these tiles provide added radiation protection. The recovery of all water from waste coupled with Cat Ox's ability to eliminate toxic contaminants ensures safety and sustainability for crewed missions. Sierra Space has also been rigorously testing its inflatable life modules, which are a cornerstone of its future space station design. The full-scale testing of these modules began last year, showcasing their remarkable durability and potential. In December of 2023, the company tested a life module measuring 6 meters in length and 9 meters in diameter, creating a habitable volume of approximately 300 cubic meters, about a third of the ISS's total volume. The test involved integrating steel frames to simulate future window structures, one of the design's most challenging elements. Impressively, the module withstood a burst pressure of 77 psi, surpassing NASA's minimum requirement of 60.8 psi by 27%. This progress continued in June of 2024 with another full-scale test. This time, the module burst at 74 psi, exceeding NASA's benchmark by 22%. These results reinforce the module's robustness and demonstrate Sierra Space's capacity to meet stringent safety standards. Looking forward, Sierra Space aims to test even larger modules with a potential volume of 500 cubic meters, more than half the size of the ISS, by 2025. This ambitious trajectory will pave the way for future modules that could revolutionize space habitation. Sierra Space has already outlined plans for its Life 2.0 and 3.0 versions, which promise unprecedented scalability. The 2.0 module, measuring 16.2 meters in length and 15 meters in diameter, would provide a habitable volume exceeding 2,600 cubic meters. The 3.0 takes this vision even further with a massive 22 meter length and 19 meter diameter, offering a staggering 5,378 cubic meters of space, more than five times the volume of the ISS. 
Such expansive designs would accommodate over 70 astronauts, supporting extensive research, exploration, and even space tourism. This scalability underscores the unique advantage of inflatable technology, allowing for compact launches followed by deployment into large habitable structures in orbit. As Sierra Space Vice President Sean Buckley explained, we now know it's possible to equal or surpass the total habitable volume of the entire International Space Station in a single launch. Despite these promising advancements, Sierra Space faces significant challenges. Securing certification from NASA is a rigorous process, and ensuring the life module meets, meets the uncompromising requirements for crewed missions will take time and meticulous effort. Additionally, the company must navigate its partnership with Blue Origin for the Orbital Reef Project. Discrepancies in development pace between the two companies could hinder progress, raising concerns about the project's timeline and coordination. Another hurdle lies in the sustainability of larger modules, particularly for deep space missions. While inflatable technology offers scalability, ensuring durability and functionality in extreme environments will require ongoing innovation and testing. Despite these challenges, Sierra Space's vision represents not just a technological leap, but also a reimagining of how we can live and work in space. With continued progress and collaboration, the life module could become a cornerstone of humanity's next chapter in space exploration. What do you think about Sierra Space's advancements and the future of inflatable habitats? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the evolving space frontier. Anyways, indeed, the development of inflatable space stations has become increasingly urgent as the International Space Station begins to show its age and faces mounting challenges. Well, after more than two decades of operation, the ISS is undeniably aging. Structural and technical issues have become more frequent, particularly in the Russian modules, which were already in use before being integrated into the ISS. Recently, reports have surfaced about astronauts detecting unpleasant odors aboard the station, prompting temporary safety measures. While these stopgaps are sufficient for now, they cannot ensure long-term safety, particularly as the ISS nears the end of its operational life. This situation puts immense pressure on commercial companies like Sierra Space to accelerate the development of their space station projects. If Russia exits the ISS in 2028 as planned, the need for an alternative will become even more critical. A new space station capable of sharing the load and maintaining continuity for scientific and logistical operations will be essential. Given this timeline, Sierra Space will likely need to have its inflatable life space station system ready by 2027 at the very latest. To meet this ambitious goal, 2025 and 2026 will be pivotal years for finalizing production, conducting rigorous testing, and preparing for deployment. The launch schedule for such a massive undertaking is equally critical and highly dependent on the availability of a reliable and capable launch vehicle. Sierra Space has outlined specific fairing sizes for its life modules, which are 5 meters for Life 1.0, 7 meters for 2.0, and 8 meters for 3.0. While several rockets can technically accommodate these payloads, one company stands out as the clear choice, SpaceX. Currently, SpaceX's Falcon family of rockets, the Falcon 9 and Heavy, offers unmatched flexibility, reliability, and capacity. Falcon 9 has consistently broken records for launches, landings, and reusability, making it an ideal choice for organizations like Sierra Space that require dependable and frequent payload deployments. Its high success rate ensures confidence in mission outcomes. For missions requiring greater lift capacity, the Falcon Heavy is the logical alternative. Though it has flown fewer missions, the Falcon Heavy boasts a flawless success record and has been trusted for high-stakes missions like NASA's Psyche, Europa Clipper, and the upcoming Dragonfly mission to Titan. Launching components of a space station is well within its proven capabilities. Looking further ahead, Sierra Space could also consider leveraging SpaceX's Starship. With its massive 9 meter diameter and payload capacity exceeding 200 tons, Starship is uniquely positioned to revolutionize space station construction. Its rapid development trajectory, including successful full stack flights and controlled landings, indicates it may be ready to support Sierra Space's timeline. Starship's capabilities could even facilitate the deployment of the largest life modules, such as 3.0, enabling unprecedented expansion 
for space-based habitats. However, the path to building an inflatable space station is far from straightforward. Sierra Space must address critical challenges, including scaling the module size, ensuring durability in the harsh environment of space, and integrating essential internal systems. Additionally, the company will need to demonstrate the operational viability of a fully functional space station to gain the confidence of stakeholders and collaborators. Despite these hurdles, the potential of Sierra Space's life system is undeniable. The synergy between innovative ideas like the life system and the cutting-edge rockets capable of delivering them is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. As these systems come together, we stand on the brink of a new era in space exploration, one where humanity builds the next frontier of habitation in the vast expanse of the universe. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.